soul soul simmers and welcome back or welcome in my name is ro and i make a lot of sims videos i hope you enjoy today i have a really exciting video for you as we are doing a little bit of a milestone celebration i have been on youtube for about two years now and the first version of the maxis match built by cc video also came out two years ago so I figured why not continue the series and actually update you on all of the amazing CC creators and CC sets I have discovered since making part three of this series. To celebrate, I made an extra jam-packed video. And when I say jam-packed, I am not joking. Today, I have a list of 21 amazing creators with a whopping 107 new CC sets. Just like the other three parts in the series, the video is grouped by creator and all of the download links can be found in the description box down below. All the download links go to the creator's general pages and I also made sure to make like a separate page on my own website where it links to the specific packs, but since there are so many links, it didn't fit in the description box, so I just listed their general web pages, allowing you to technically just shop more from the same creator of things that I didn't feature in today's video, but feel free to use either option that works best for you. Also, this video took a lot of time to make because I had to find a lot of links and stuff for CC that I've been using for a while. So please make sure to toss this video a cheeky like because it does really help me out. And without further ado, let's actually dive into the video. The first creator on today's list is Max20, a name that I've covered before. Their CC sets are super well made and it's hard to distinguish their work from actual things in the game. First up, I have the computer and landline phone. These two items are just amazing for storytelling because they allow you to make homes that look older. They go very well with the basement treasures kit. Next up is the garden home pack, and this has to be one of my favorite CC sets ever. I'm a gardener and plant mom myself, so replicating that in The Sims is something that I love. This pack came out right before the greenhouse haven kit. Some say it's even better than the kit itself. So what are you waiting for? This is a must download. The washing and drying machines are a fun little item, but I still love them so much. The laundry day pack only comes with one set of these, and I think having more and allowing yourself the options is always a great idea. The home atmosphere is another small pack, but honestly such a great addition to the game. Especially the fridge. I'm obsessed with items like these because having decor on your fridge makes your home feel so alive. Cibolette is also a returning name on this list. She also made the infamous spiral stairs that made infants stretch out like spaghetti strings, aka a great creator. The first set is the Traveler set. This set is so cute to decorate holiday homes or have your Sims reminisce over holidays. Especially the map with the picture frames is great if you also love to take in-game screenshots, possibly with poses. The Candy Nursery had me absolutely obsessed when I first saw the artwork on Twitter. It is adorable and I cannot get enough. I love the colors because I'm a bit of a pastel girly myself and I would totally have this in real life as well. The Nothing to Wear set is great for building walk-in wardrobes or fancy wardrobe walls for your Sims. The fact that it comes with a corner piece just makes my builder heart so happy. The Simxtis pack, yes, I struggled saying that, is an absolute dream. I love anything that is related to the times from before. It is just so fun to challenge yourself to build in different styles. Besides that, this type of furniture is totally making a comeback, so let's add it to The Sims as well. 6MCC is another familiar name on the list. Their CC is always great and they definitely do not disappoint this time around either. The Boho Bath Botanical Retreat is officially still in early access upon release of this video, but it's definitely worth keeping an eye out for once it becomes public. The items are so incredibly cute and I wish I had all of this in my real house. The vibe is right up my alley and I cannot have enough of that in The Sims as well. The Boho Baby came out around the time that Growing Together was launched and it is amazing. The items in this pack are absolutely adorable for kit rooms and nurseries. I think they go very well with the default items from the pack and some of the furniture pieces that came along with Island Living. The living room for a cozy family has so much life in it. The clutter, the textures, the items. It is all made to look like people are actually living in the home you're playing in. I love these items so much because they tell a story and that's exactly what I am looking for for Sims decoration. The stylish wooden nursery is for those who not only want to have a functional but also an extremely cute and aesthetically pleasing room for their kids. I really love this set as it looks very homey but also very realistic. It looks like you could have bought it from Ikea, which we all know is the best furniture store in the world. The furniture showroom is the pack for longtime simmers. It has everything to make you highly nostalgic. From the heart-shaped hot tub to the one and only vibrating hard bed. Next to that, it comes with a ton of new items that are simply beautiful. Hey Harry is also a returning name on this list. This time around, I have only one collection from her on the list, but it comes with six parts, so I feel like that compensates. The coastal collection is inspired by beaches and seas and it shows. Not only the style of furniture, but also the colors used for this set make you feel like you're on a tropical island somewhere. They all feel light and airy and include items for almost any room in the house. 
Helixandra is one of the best known CC creators out there and there is a reason for it. His sets are simply amazing. This time around, I have one set on the list. However, this comes with five parts as well. So technically you're getting five sets in the same style. The Chateau set is absolutely mind boggling. It comes with curved stairs, wall high bookcases with ladders and a traditional kitchen. It has everything to live out your Chateau dreams. Felixandra and Harry also collaborate on CC set under the names of House of Harlots. Their basic set was already on the list of part three of these videos, but after making that video, they also released a basic bathroom. This allows you to make your basic collection complete and decorate your house in a cohesive style. Joyous Fox is a completely new addition to these lists. I discovered their work through Twitter and was instantly obsessed. They make the greatest clutter, but also total CC sets. The simple living kitchen and plats are adorable decorations for your house. It's sad but true, I am excited for more variants of kitchen paper towels. That's when you know you're truly adulting. The summer garden set comes with so many different items ranging from wallpapers to sofas and tables. The style is grandma spring core and I am mega obsessed. Everything about this set screams rustic countryside. Gary Sim is back with a list of amazing creations as per usual. I have the feeling that these lists are not complete without adding him, him to it. The first set is a three part large set called David's Apartment. The items feel like they were meant for someone who just moved into their first apartment. They are not too extra, but definitely not bland either. The teeny weeny set came out right around the time of growing together and makes a perfect addition to the game. With a bunch of cute baby clutter, these items are a must have in the game. Auntie Vera's bathroom absolutely dropped my jaw when I saw the pictures on Twitter. The tiling is something we've never seen before in the game and the items are so incredibly cute. They just scream granny cottagecore and I am here for it. The rustic vibes with the pastel colors just make me want to move into this home. The last set is a collaboration with Charlie Pancakes, who will be on the list with a more packs later on in the video. The Precious Promises wedding pack is absolutely adorable. It adds a bunch more variables to the signs, chairs, and wedding arches. The items are very elegant and just feel perfect to for any wedding to me. Arnie, also known as The Sims Plus, has made a pack called Lux Lighting. This pack has already been out for a long time, but I realized I never added it to any of these lists, and I decided to add it now because it's very, very cool. Especially if you missed the pre-order items from high school that came with like the cute wall lights or like the RGB lights, this pack is perfect for you because it comes with a bunch of lighting options that can be cool for gaming rooms or just general ambiance decorations in your Sims home. My Shuno son, as you know, is by far one of my favorite CC creators, and this time around they did not disappoint. Their sets are always amazing quality, but today I have multiple great ones on the list as well. The tranquil bedroom comes with another canopy bed, which in my opinion already makes it a winner. Next to the bed, the set comes with many more cute items, including some cute clutter and plants. Definitely recommend this one. The thrifted TV might be a single item, but that doesn't make it less cool. I love to build homes in specific styles, and this one fits perfectly with anything retro. The Lullaby Nursery is absolutely adorable, and I am obsessed. I think my favorite part of this set is the wall art, because that can be used far outside nurseries as well. However, the items are definitely not less than the wall art. They are super well made, and I love them. The Simify Nook comes into two parts, both equally amazing. The first one focuses on listening to music, where the second one focuses more on making music. Both together, they make a great combination for any Sims who's into music. The Vanity Nook is an absolute must have. I love vanities, but the one we have in game by default all feel a bit too fancy for me. I love that this is a simple vanity, making this luxurious item more accessible for your sim. The Herbalist Kitchen is a super cute rustic kitchen set that comes with a ton of clutter items. The set makes any kitchen feel alive and homey, and it mixes and matches very well with any other in-game or CC sets. KKB is a new name on the list as well. I discovered their CC set through Twitter and I was sold right away. The first set on the list is the Heimish Hall. This is such a cute hallway set with a bunch of hallway clutter. I always struggle a bit with making hallways look good and I keep decorating the same way. This set fixes that immediately. The Jomo Laundry set is another laundry set. Yes, I might have a thing for laundry. This one is so cute though. I absolutely love the clutter that comes with it as well as the colors that they picked. It would fit very well in a 70s house too. I think I might also have a thing for retro. The Citrus Room may be one of my favorite CC packs ever. The flower pillows just have me absolutely obsessed and I love the style and the vibe of this pack. The curtains with the fruit print are also adorable and I wish my actual house looked like this. 
Hey, quick reminder, if you're enjoying this video so far, I have a lot more CC videos, so don't forget to like this one to help me out, and also check out my channel for way more content on this topic, and if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much, now back to the video. Kaiso is another new name on the list, and I think I never downloaded all CC from one creator so fast. Pride Month might just be over at the time of making this video, but celebrating Pride all year long is so much better. The HRT clutter set is just great for anyone looking to include a piece of realism into their gameplay. I love CC sets like this that truly add something to the game that we're missing and making the game more inclusive. The Rustic Living Room set is actually a set that I found on Twitter that made me check out this creator. The chair in particular had me obsessing from the moment I noticed it. The whole set is absolutely a vibe though. Can we take a moment to look at that plant as well? The Rustic Living Room set doesn't come alone though. There is also a Rustic Office set to complete and match the style. This is another set that just looks absolutely amazing. I love the design of the computer because we don't have many that look like this, but technically every item in this pack is just perfect. Are you tired of the gigantic rodent cages that come with my first pet stuff? Well, then this set is for you. It's not as extensive in functionality like the actual rodents, so they are more for storytelling purposes, but they look so much better and come with small rodents that you can put in the gate to make it look like they live there, and you can even name those as well. So basically, it covers all the needs. Thought the cool stuff stopped at custom rodent enclosures? No, no. Kaizo also made a CC pack for lizards. Similar to the rodent enclosures, they are, de they are there for decorations, but do come with the option of naming the pet inside. This is so incredibly cool because so many keep lizard or lizard-like animals as pets. Last but definitely not least, we have another animal-related pack, this time around parrots. For all people who love birds and wish they could have them in The Sims, this is for you. It might not be all birds, but with some creativity and storytelling, you could use these cases for every other type of bird as well. I absolutely love this set because it adds so much realism to gameplay. Charlie Pancakes was already mentioned earlier because he did a collaboration with Perry Sim. However, their solo work is just as amazing. Sit back and relax because this time around, I have 10 of their sets on the list. Diaper Days is a perfect set for if you're into growing together and family gameplay. This is legit so cute. There's even a little decorative stroller. Next to that, the quality of this set simply blows my mind. It fits so well with the items in game we already have. Chalk is a kitchen set with two parts, both equally amazing. I love a good and simple kitchen because it is incredibly versatile. The swatches on this set are simply stunning. I love how CC creators can add so much more swatches to their items than EA can. I love that this set also comes with pattern tiling because I'm always looking for more of those. Usually videos like this actually contain far more buy items than build mode items, but today I did my best to include some of those as well. Charlie Pancakes has two sets of terrain paint that just give you a bit more options when painting your lot. They might be subtle differences from the other ones in game, but they are definitely a good addition to it. Maple and S Constructions is another build set with three parts. One comes with doors that might sound boring, but honestly, one cannot have enough of simple but matching doors. The other two come with a lot of windows, allowing you to have different styles in all wall sizes. All of those are really versatile items that I would highly recommend adding to your game. The Lighthouse Collection is so incredibly perfect. I love the colors used here and the textures on the items look fantastic. Looking at the screenshots, it feels like I'm on holiday right away. It looks so homey and so relaxing. Speaking of holidays, the Strand Corp is one of those sets that you did not know you needed until you have it. Look at how cute this is. These little beach benches are perfect addition to any beach in the game. With now having both Tartosa and Solani, there is plenty of beach space for you to decorate. Selection 1 is a completely different style and vibe. It's almost hard to believe it was made by the same creator, but honestly, that is what makes Charlie Pancakes so great. This modern set adds a bunch of simple yet futuristic looking furniture pieces that really add a clean look to the room. You might know Kate Emerald from her amazing builds and YouTube tutorials, but did you know that she also makes custom content? She started with her first set this year and has not been sitting still since. The Cozy Corner is one of the first sets she released and I loved it right away. I love the wall light piece, it is so unique. I think the sectional sofa is also great because we simply can never have enough of those. The Blissful Baby set is another amazing CC set that came out right around the time of growing together. I guess CC creators all had the same idea at the time. This set comes with simple but adorable furniture. I am obsessed with hot air balloon bookshelves and the cute teddy bear. Marquisa is a cute cactus set for cats. That literally involves two of my favorite things, cats and plants. This set is so cute and well-made and I love the creativity in this. I know these things exist in real life, but it's so fun to also have them in The Sims. 
I found Quirky Introvert, their CC page, through looking for more Max's Match hairs. So if you watched my video on that topic, you might recognize the name. However, they are a new name on the list of Build By videos. Today, I have four cute sets of theirs on the list. The first set is the Evergreen Balcony set. I am absolutely obsessed with this set, as I think it's something we're truly missing in the game. As a person with a balcony rather than a garden myself, I think it is cool that we now have something that resembles what I own myself, and I can actually decorate my balconies realistically. The Sleek Hallway set is another great set to decorate the hallways that I always struggle with. I especially love the little shoe container because that is so realistic as well. Just the simple style of this pack has me wanting to redecorate my own home. The Lively Living Room set is another simple yet great set. I literally own the coffee table in this set in real life, and it is so fun to have things in game that allow you to recreate your own space. I have a feeling all of these sets are heavily inspired by IKEA, but I'm here for it. The Urban Bedroom is a set completely following the black steel and wood trend we have going. Especially the open wardrobe in this set I love using. The wood textures on this one are a bit more alpha than Max's Match, but they still look great in game and go together very well with the default items. Sim Labs is another new name on these lists. Today they come in hot with two new sets. The assembled hard bed is the one thing we all wanted when the basement treasure kit came out, and Sim Labs came to the rescue and gave us exactly that. The bed is fully functional, so you can live out your wildest dream. The infant playmat is another cute item that came out right when Growing Together was released. It's a slightly more narrow version of the default playmat, making it easier to fit in smaller spaces. It also comes with a bunch more cute swatches. Ira is another new name, and man, I am obsessed with their CC. Do you know that feeling of finding a new creator and wanting to download everything from their website? Well, that's what I felt like when I opened Ira's page. The study and style set comes with so much cute clutter to decorate your Sims desk spaces. I feel like the cozy girl aesthetic just really pops off and I'm here for it. Having the iPad separate with the mouse and keyboard like that is also such a mood and I love it. This small CC set doesn't even come with a name, but it has such cute items. The rice cooker is absolutely amazing. As a person who owns two rice cookers, this is an absolutely must have for in my kitchens. Another small CC set without a name comes with some more clutter. These little sets just make my heart happy because they allow me to add so much life to my Sims build. This makes playing in them a lot more fun and I really get to tell a story with the space my Sims live in. The last small nameless set comes with even more extremely cute clutter. I love the little tissue box and the toaster. I feel like these items match very well with the in-game aesthetic while still bringing a neo style to the game that we don't really have. The Artist in Me is a really nice set for building art studios. Little creative spaces are one of my fave things to build in The Sims and this set comes in so perfectly. I love the clutter items that the set comes with as well as it just makes me want to build a million art spaces now. The sky seating is stunning. It might not be fit for every living space you build, but imagine building a public lot like a rec center or a kid's department in the hospital. This seating arrangement will come in clutch. The wooden set comes with three parts that are all amazing for decorating kids' rooms. The clutter and decoration are truly amazing. I'm especially in love with the little wooden step. This is such a realistic and practical item, and I think it is so cute to add it to your Sims kids' rooms. Having this set kind of means that you don't need any other kid room decoration in my opinion. The vanilla kitchen set comes with even more kitchen clutter and furniture, because you cannot have enough of those. You cannot convince me otherwise. Sets like these just make me want to build, 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 and build some more. The quality of the clutter is incredible, and this set comes with so much. Plain Plants is a small but super welcome set. It comes with some very simple plants. The game itself already gives us a couple of options of simple plants, but let's be honest, we can never have enough of those either. The Pinky set comes in two parts and adds, yes, you guessed it correct, even more clutter. This time around, all based on the color pink. I think especially the cup with the straw had me drooling over this set. Imagine your sim is working from home and they just served themselves an iced matcha latte in this, this cup. The Ghibli set comes in perfectly for all of us who love the Ghibli movies and the Ghibli studio, and the whole aesthetic that comes with it. This set is an absolute must have for in your game and I would highly recommend downloading it right now. The last set from Ira is the mushroom set. I know that mushrooms are really trendy right now and one day we might look back at them just like we look back on the mustache trend of 2012, but for now I'm just pretending that's not the case and I'm here for the mushroom core vibe all the way, even in my Sims game. Tuds is another returning name on these lists and this time around they also came in hot with some amazing CC packs. The first pack is called Crib, and as you could have guessed, it's another set for nurseries. I will not apologize for the amount of cute infant CC in this video. The set is yet another style though, so I feel like it definitely belongs on the list. I especially love the wall items with the diaper and the baby care product. So practical and realistic. The second set comes with two parts and is the complete opposite of a cute nursery set. The cave part one and two add stylish, almost corporate vibes to the game. 
The items are chic, bold, and call for minimalism. Nectar is a set that will come in handy if the new Horse Ranch expansion pack is out, because this set allows you to store all the nectar you made. The nectar set allows you to add a wine or nectar cellar of your dreams. I love the little details here, like the vase with all the cords. The wave set also comes in two parts and adds a bunch of furniture to the game that can only be described as modern sleep. These items are super chic and definitely add a brand new style to the game. I love how these items are actually a mix of modern and more vintage styles and they just merge seamlessly. Last on today's list from Tuds is the kitchen set. This one adds a beautiful rustic yet modern kitchen. It is another example of two styles just merging seamlessly. I love the swatches that come with this set and the double fridge and fancy stove that are absolutely one of my top favorite items in game. Peacemaker is definitely a familiar name as I think they were even the inspiration for the original first version of this series. They have slowed down their CC making process a bit, but nonetheless, there are two great sets on this list. Wellcrafted comes with a whopping 42 new items as add-ons for the Growing Together pack. It adds doors, windows, arches, etc. for all wall heights in all different sizes. Sets like this make me so happy because the default ones from EA were already great, but this allows me to literally use the style everywhere in the house instead of having to mix and match. The second set is the Over the Rainbow Kids Room set. I love that even though infants are all the hype, there is also a new set for kids. Eventually, those infants will grow up and want to have a kids room too. This set adds a bunch of cute rainbow inspired furniture items and I love the color combinations. You can truly give your sims each their own style. The Clutter Cat is the last new name on today's list, but again, upon opening their website, I just wanted to download everything. The Baby Boo set is another set for infants that adds clutter and furniture for the little ones. I love this set because it's different. It's funky and a bit out there, but that's what makes it stand out from the other sets that we've already had on the list so far. The wallpaper is not my personal favorite, but the toys that come in with the set are adorable. The Dandy Diary comes with three parts that are all equally amazing. With items for your living room, bedroom, and bathroom, you can make sure that your entire house fits together very well. The amount of clutter in these sets are truly impressive, and the style is just very, very welcoming and homey. The Christmas collection is a bit weird on a list that was published in the summertime, but you can never be too prepared, right? This set, this set comes with a bunch of baking supplies clutter, allowing you to make your kitchens look like the preparations for the holiday season are happening in full speed. Mellow Moods Mini is another pack with clutter for kids and infants. These clutter and furniture items add a laid back vibe to the game for the little ones. I love the cutlery and little plate and bowl clutter. It's just so realistic to have that sitting on a counter somewhere. Mellow Moods, not the mini version, comes with a bunch of laid back clutter for the more grown up spaces in the house. With cute candle holders, honey pots, small kitchen clutter, and some simple decorations, this pack is a must have for anyone who loves to decorate. The Busy Bee set comes with a bunch of office slash workspace clutter, like notebooks, letter holders, and cork boards with some work on them. Sets like these make me fall in love with building home offices again, and I think it adds some much needed life to those spaces. The last set from the Clutter Cat is Cozy Cocina. This set adds a bunch of colorful kitchen clutter like cups, plates, pictures, and other decorations. I love that all of these come in cute swatches, like the colors are lively but not too bright, allowing you to mix and match easily. Lil Dika is also a returning name on these lists, and there's a good reason for that. Their CC sets are stunning and of very high quality. Little Winers is the first one on the list. It's another set for infants, this time adding changing tables, but for the base game. So for anyone who was mad that there were no changing tables in the base game with the update that came with infants, this is your chance to still get them. The Country Sleek bathroom set looks so cool. I love the older looking toilet with a cabinet up top that is just so realistic. And don't get me started on those tiles. They are so beautiful. I think this set will work great with the new Horse Ranch expansion pack coming out soon as well. The Summer Party set is a simple CC set that is perfect for decorating your backyards for those good summer parties. I love the plastic chairs even without the party though, because those are just iconic. Thinking about it, it's kind of weird that we don't have anything like that in the game by default. The arcade set might only appeal to a niche set of players, but it definitely hit the right spot for me. As a person who loves arcade games and is obsessed with 80s aesthetic, this set is simply amazing. It comes with a bunch of both build and buy items, and I would highly recommend getting it. Speaking of build items, I promised that today's list would have more of those, and the Roman holiday is just that. This build set is truly amazing because it's so different from anything we have in game. For anyone who likes to challenge themselves creatively with building, this set is perfect for you. The Delicato Lounge was made in collaboration with Deligracy and it is so pretty. First of all, the colors in this pack are just perfect. The soft pastels and all the pinks make me so happy. 
I think my favorite item from this set is the open bookcase shelving. It is so simple and that's exactly why it is seriously the best. For all of you who thought the hard bed was nostalgic, how about the Sweet Streets pack? Remember the Katy Perry pack in The Sims 3? Well, now you have it in The Sims 4 too. This pack might not show up on your everyday builds, but it's definitely worth downloading and checking out because it's just so much fun. The Rise and Grind pack brings the Starbucks to The Sims. For anyone who's ever been to a Starbucks, the design and the items should feel familiar right away. I love this because I think the default coffee shops items we have in The Sims are not really up to date with modern aesthetic, and this allows you to give those a good upgrade. Did you think today's list was great? Don't forget to check out the other videos on my channel because all of the other lists are also pretty neat. Also, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up because it genuinely really helps out. And also, if you like any other videos that I make on the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos coming out in the future and just because it really helps out my channel. So thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. I wish all of you a great day and I will see you on the next one. Bye, everyone.